Hi, welcome to question six of the 2022 Leave Insert Ordinary Level Paper 2. If you want to copy the notes I'm working off, just send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com. Now it's worth trying to pause the video and just see can you figure out a strategy here. Um, but I'll read through it. Um, part A here says the circle C, so that's this circle here, is shown in the diagram below. Now they say it's not to scale, and on this video it kind of stretched, so it would look slightly different on the exam paper. Its center is at the point O, and that's here. The points A, B, and D, so A, B, and D, and the the uh, length AB, whatever, is the di a diameter of the circle. So they're confirming that that's the diameter. The second I see this diagram, I go, well, look, that's 130, so that's going to be 50. Okay, not sure if I could need that. I also see that there's an angle off the diameter, so that whole thing up there is going to be 90. Again, it doesn't look like it's stretched. Okay, um, so I could just make a statement there that, like, if I wanted to call that maybe dot, okay, so 90 is equal to dot plus x. Um, now I could find, actually, no, the radius is here. So this is a radius, and so is this. So they're equal length. Okay, I could mark that with that, just to remind myself they're equal length. Now let's actually read the question. Part one there says, write down the angle ADB. So the angle ADB. So that's the one I said there was, was a dot, okay? Um, now, I don't know x. I can't really use this because there's two unknowns, okay? Unless I could find x. That's not going to help me, I don't think. Um, but I did notice earlier that the radiuses were equal. Now, that triangle there is basically this. Excuse me, bad drawing. Now, that's an isosceles. So these two angles here are equal, okay? I just realized I'm going down the wrong strategy. I thought they were asking about this. Okay. Um, they're actually asking about this, which I did say earlier as well. Apologies. The answer there is just 90 degrees. Basically, it was this piece of knowledge that was important. I just didn't read the question properly. A, D, B. And there's a valid criticism there that I've written so much on the diagram that I've kind of maybe ruined it for myself, um, made, made it more cluttered than it needed to be. So, I'm just 90 degrees. So part two says the angle AOD, so that's not, AOD is 130. So they're telling me that. It says work out the size of the angle marked X in the diagram. Now, okay. Actually, I do need this diagram here. If these two angles are size of the same length, well, then these two angles are the same. Now, if I now know that that's 130, okay, and again, excuse my bad writing, so 180 is equal to 130 degrees plus an angle plus the same angle, okay, the same size angle. Now that's just, I suppose, algebra. 180 is equal to 130. A times A is 2A. Now I can get rid of that 130 by taking it away. Okay, if I do it to one side, I have to do it to both sides. Because I see here, this is an equation I want to solve. Now, 180 take away 130 is 50. Okay, 50 is equal to, now, A plus A is 2A. So, basically, the same to me is 50 is equal to twice some number. So, the number is going to be 25. I could use algebra there and divide both sides by 2. You know, just follow, follow through. And the rules of algebra are consistent, so it's just, I'm just doing it kind of faster. So if this is 25, okay, and this is 25, I've answered the question. Um, actually, I haven't answered the question. I found that that there is 25, so to finish it off, 90 is equal to, now I said dot up here. That's 25 plus x. Similar thing to over there. If I take the 25 away, I can get rid of it. Do it to one side, have to do it to both. Okay, that's 65. Yeah, 65 is equal to x, and that's my answer. Now, then below there, it says the radius of the circle is 18 centimeters. So I now know that's 18, and 
that's 18 there, as I make the diagram more cluttered. It says, find the length of the arc AD, okay? So the length of this arc here. And if you think about it, now let me actually make the diagram less cluttered by getting rid of all the ink, okay? So if this is 18, and this is 18, even though it doesn't look like it because the diagram is stretched, okay? Um, I'm trying to find the length of this segment here, okay? Now that segment, I'm gonna clear off the rating again, okay, is 130 of, one, of the 360 of the circle. So there's a fraction there, 130 of the 360. Is that a third? No, it's not quite a third, okay. 120 over 360 would be a third of the circle. It's a little bit more than a third. So I'm looking then to find the length of the arc. Now the length of a circle is two pi r. So in essence, this fraction of this. Now if I see there 130 over 36, I can drop the zero straight away. That's the equivalent fraction, 13 over 36. So if I go, look, 13 36 times 2 pi r is going to give me my answer. Now, I know pi. Okay, Pi is the approximation of 3 pi 1 4. Okay, and the calculator will have that number uh, to its full. Okay, not to its whatever. Now, the radius I'm after being told, the radius is 18. So all I have to do is fill in those, and I'm going to use the answer on the next page. Okay, the one actually I didn't simplify this fraction in the notes, but 130 over the 360 times 2 times pi button the calculator times 18. That will go through the calculator, and I got 13 pi. Now I could have changed that to a decimal, but the question says give your answer in centimeters in terms of pi, and that's that's that. So just to point out the first one there, that 5a scoring is either right or wrong. Okay, there's no attempts. The 5c there, you know, it's a good chance to pick up some marks if you're not sure. And in a way, overwriting on the diagram can cause it to be cluttered, especially if you make a mistake. But writing on the diagram is a great way to problem solve. So it's a double-edged sword. Redrawing it takes time. So, you know, um, anything you put in the diagram could achieve marks. So I wouldn't be not putting stuff in the diagram. Now, part um, B, part one and two. This is kind of a weird question in a sense. Your knowledge of geometry would want to be pretty good in order to be able to give a good job of answering this. And the both mark paths are marked in the same grading system. So let's read through it. Two statements, A and B, are shown below. For each statement, put a tick in the correct box to show if it is true or false. Give a reason for your answer in each case. The statement A says, if two triangles are similar, then they must be congruent. Now, then gives an option for true or false. Now, similar triangles and congruent triangles don't mean the same thing. Like, I could draw a similar triangle like this, okay, and then a, that other triangle could have the exact same angles. Like, this looks more like a 90. Oh, we'll go 60, 60, 20. No, 80. Okay, that's completely off the wall in terms of the actual angle, so apologies. Um, like they're similar, okay. I'm just going to wreck my head until I get rid of that. Apologies here, my tech isn't working the way I hope it would. I'm just going to wreck my brain in terms of problem solving. Um, anyway, so the they're similar triangles, if those angles are equal, even though they're not the same triangle, they're not congruent, because they're different sizes, okay? So congruent must be exactly the same, but that's different than similar. So if two triangles are similar, they must be congruent. No, like they could be different sizes. So could be different size. So that one is false, okay? Now statement B says, if two triangles are congruent, they must be similar, okay? So to be congruent, they have to be the same. So that's true, okay? And I think I have something on the next page. You have there um, congruent triangles 
have to be the same shape and size, okay? Whereas similar triangles have the same shape, but could be different sizes, okay? And that, that's, that's all they are. Now, remembering that little piece of information is something that I, I imagine if I hadn't looked over it recently, then I could be kind of going, ah, which is it? So I would suggest in a question like that, and especially one with a reason, just try to give your best guess if you're not sure, okay? Definitely attempt it, okay? That's, that's probably the most important thing I can say for that question. Hopefully you do remember the difference between similar and congruent, and then it's easy, okay? But if you don't, you're, you're, you're always trying to hit the, hit the attempts and the mid-partials. So that's the end of question six. Um, as always, if you want a copy of the notes I'm working off, just send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com. Please click like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. And see you on question seven.